Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what ad blockers are still working in 2025. So, let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing we're going to do is jump over to our browser of choice. I'm going to be using Brave because they have a bunch of cool built-in things like an ad blocker and VPN if you choose to use theirs. But what I'm going to do is just go to the Chrome web store and since Brave is a Chromium browser, I'll be able to use all of the extensions on the Chrome web store. So we're going to go here to get our extensions and block our ads. All right, our first extension for today is going to be Ad Guard. And it's going to be this first one that pops up right here add guard add blocker and we are going to add this to brave we're going to add extension and then once that downloads and gets added we'll be able to go to our extensions which you can access by pushing collecting the settings up here and going down to extensions so you can have it selected off or on we're going to leave it on and this is going to be our first resource for blocking ads in 2025 that is still working. So here we are on the NewYorkTimes.com website with the ad guard ad blocker turned on. And we can see what a difference it makes. Just completely clean, no ads besides other articles they want you to read. All right, for our next extension that we are going to use to block any ads that get past that DNS filter is going to be Ghostery. And it's going to be this first one right here. And we're just going to do the same thing, add to Brave. And when we have this thing on, it does the same thing as our last extension, Ad Guard. It just blocks all of the ads coming in. And it'll miss any of the ones that ad guard does not get here we are on apnews.com now and as you can see with that extension turned on we're getting no banner ads of any kind and no other kind of ads of any kind as well all right our last extension but certainly not least is uBlock origin and this is an awesome ad block that used to be the best of the best, but it did get patched out in a bunch of new Google and YouTube updates, but they do do a good job in updating this application or extension. So it is good to have just in your extension list and turned on because God forbid they make some kind of breakthrough and get through these new updates then it'll be up and working again and you already have it installed and turned on. And what it does too is does the same thing that Ghostry and AdGuard does is it blocks ads of course and it will miss or get any of the ones that AdGuard and Ghostry miss. So redundancy is a big theme here. If you have three ad blockers blocking ads, Maybe one of them will get one that two of them would not, or two of them will get one that one of them wouldn't. But having that redundancy makes sure that you almost never see ads when you're browsing on your computer, and that is what most of us really truly want. So having all three of these ad blockers will do things even like block live stream ads like on Kick or Twitch, or even video ads on your favorite video streaming websites. So this is not a foolproof method. Some might fall through the cracks, but um, this will pretty much block every ad that tries to get to you on your computer. But that's it for this video, guys. Just a quick video showing you guys just how to get an ad-free browsing experience in 2025. So again, guys, thanks for watching and check you in the next one. If you like this video from me and want to check out others, then check out this one where I turn a keyboard into a bad USB that can emulate keystrokes. So again guys, thanks for watching this video and catch you in the next one.